Honestly, I can still barely believe that we got this. <laughs> oh dear. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Sky Vaults. I have just updated to the newest version and I believe there's been a couple of changes that are going to be very, very useful to us. Yeah, just here. So one of the big changes is that we can now get the pouches, these ones, without having to have a research. <laughs> so I really should have kept those sugar shells, but it's fine because vault diamonds and stuff. Oh, Enigma chest. Never heard of this. But it's fine because, uh, yeah, we're going to have to run some normal vaults first before we can get that stuff anyway. So this shulker box is still going to be handy for me in uh, running a few things. But uh, in this episode, yeah, we're going to uh, we're going to need to expand this little island a little bit. I think we're going to leave that there for now. On top of that, it's uh, it's time to make a vault altar. Now, I actually have all the stuff that I need for that, I believe. I cooked up some stone at the end of last episode to make this pedestal, just so I could take a nice thumbnail. And with that, I should be able to make some of this, grab out a few bits and pieces, grab some of the chromatic iron that we got, and hell yeah. And as a reward, we get a button. So, if I chuck this down in the limited space that we have available, we can see here it says, The time has come to forge your first vault crystal. Every recipe is different, and the amount of required ingredients will slowly scale up as you craft more crystals. Using a vault rock on a vault altar will identify the items required to complete the crystal recipe. You can submit items to the altar by throwing them out of your inventory near the altar. Once the altar recipe is finished, applying a redstone signal completes the crafting process. If you struggle to tell what an item is, you can crouch to view its name. I did not realize we would get a shulker box as a reward for this, but that's okay. <laughs> we can get two. So I'm going to grab this button and we're just going to put that on the side of here. I think. Oh, this is. Oh, oh I don't think I have. I don't. I don't have the things that I need for that. Uh, one, we can chuck that down easily. A piece of iron is more than easy enough to do. And two pieces of dirt is nothing. But I guess I'm going to have to run one more vault to get some seeds. <sighs> it's fine. It is what it is. Let's grab one more of these. And we're going to use these plenty anyway, probably in this episode even, to gather the materials we want to do some nice expansion. But I think I would like to go in, complete this, and at least run one normal vault before we get to running a bunch of these uh, budding crystal ones to get the resources for out here. So let's just quickly run in, see if we can find a room with a bunch of grass to get ourselves some seeds, and then we can really get in and try out a proper vault with some pretty decent gear, I'd say. Yeah. Also, maybe this time if I run across some wool, I'll pick it up. <sighs> Nothing worse than editing and realizing your mistake. Let's go. Okay. Oh, they've removed the uh, the goals in these uh, <laughs> these vaults now, which is kind of interesting. So maybe we were lucky that we played a little bit and got some luck with those starter uh, crates. But uh, now, things have changed a little bit. What is that? A rare hardened chest. So there's a bunch of different stuff now that... Uh, we're going to have a bit of a look at, and these can be used for, yeah, wooden planks. There's some really nice decorative kind of stuff. Also, oh no, it's fine. I thought that was an extra large chest. So things have changed a bit in, uh, in here, and we get things like the living rock, which is used in making, yeah, living rock, and a bunch of other decorative kind of blocks now available to us. But we can explore these a little bit more later, I'd say. Sandy rocks. Oh my. Actually, the, the loot is not bad. Now, this is what I'm after. Give me seeds. Ooh. Not complaining about uh, the nice loot that we're getting, though. Seeds. Seeds. There we go. Nice. Come on. <sighs> ah. Nice. So that's the three that we needed for 
the uh, the proper vault crystal. But you know what? I think uh, with this new setup and the new items that we can get out of these vaults, it's maybe worth still running this one. So to the west is our exit, exit, and uh, we'll uh, see what we can get. I didn't even bring my shulker box. Damn, that's fine. Ooh, rare flesh chest, two shulker shells. Okay. Oh, some string. Oh, interesting. Are these unique to soot? Are these unique to the uh, ugh, to the raw vaults? Maybe. Not sure. Either way, I don't mind taking some of this stuff. Ooh, flesh chest scroll. Very interesting. Is that? Oh, eight string. Amazing. Yeah, this is great. Blaze rod. What? Okay. Wow. <laughs> the uh, loot tables have certainly changed. Wow. Nice work, Bottle. It's certainly been worth it so far to uh, to come through and grab some stuff out of this. And these flesh chests are, one, disgusting, and two, fantastic. Damn. Well worth it. Now, what is the soot used for? Maybe it's a placeable item? Let's have a look. It is. And we don't get any back. Good to know. More flesh chests. Oh! Okay. I was really not expecting the level of loot that we would get from this stuff. Slime? Mystery eggs? This is still a raw vault, right? Uh, what don't I want? I guess some of the raw meat? What? The inside of that has an eye in it. Disgusting. <laughs> I love it. I probably don't need that. I can just use it to give myself some extra levels. Okay. Wow, what an interesting change. Luckily, it kind of happened sort of early on in our playthrough, and we get to take advantage of it uh, at the start here. Wow, blaze rods. It's actually kind of crazy. That's going to be very helpful. All right, let's do a proper MLG this time. There we go. And there we go. Hmm, already used up all our space for that one. <laughs> and more flesh chests. Okay, well, on the positive side, one of the things that we did do is absolutely get ourselves enough string to uh, make a bag that we needed. Look at all these goodies. Okay, oh, maybe there's a little thing hidden away underneath there. There is. Oh, scared me. <laughs> Oh, there's a secondary little spot down here. Nice. Oh, now I really wish I brought my uh, shulker box. Oh, I might be able to make a second one. Hold on. Let's do that. Uh, first, we need wood. Next, turn it into that. Turn that into a chest. And there we go. Ah, much better. Ow. Okay, well, I shouldn't be taking risks like that. Thankfully, I already cleared this area out. Okay, now we can keep looting. I can just right-click with this shulker box to uh, fill it with stuff that I already have in there. Nice. Oh, heal. Oh my goodness, that was a jump scare. I actually got a little shock down through my legs just then when he was staring at me. Oh man, that was like a horror movie. <laughs> Ugh, just ready to end things if I wasn't paying attention. Very cool. Okay, well, could I spend a bunch of time in here going through and seeing if I can get a bunch of loot? Yes. Should I? Or should I go for a proper run? <sighs> That's undecided, really. Who knows? I guess I'm here now. May as well make the most of it. But then we'll head back into the overworld and put those few seeds that we gathered to use. Now, I'll just uh, do some looting, gather some materials, diamonds and coal and all sorts of goodies. And then uh, we'll do a proper one. Our first real vault. That sounds good. All right. Let me just do the thing. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. I'm glad I spent a little bit more time at least. Ooh. I'm very glad I spent some more time. Lots to loot. 
Oh, and some pretty blocks too. Yes. That was definitely worth it. Nice. So, with that, and this shulker box, in fact, now, we should be able to grab this, throw that on there, and, hold on, let me just fill this up with whatever will also fit. If I make this first crystal, we should get a third shulker box. Nice. Our first vault crystal. So, if we go into this quest book, yeah, we just got a, another shulker box. Perfect. I got a little bit of work to do here. But what I can do is one, two, three, four, five. And those can be used with just a single piece of dye to uh, change its color. So what we're looking for is, well, I can do the blue dye nice and easily, like so. Just one more piece. I need to find a way to make red dye. Red dye can be made from beetroots or some flowers. So I think while we're running through this first proper vault, we need to be looking for some red flowers or some beetroots to really help us on our way. Now, I can put some of that in here, some of that in here, and just try and organize things a little bit. But oh boy, are we going to need to, uh, to start working on some proper storage once we get into the swing of things in these proper vaults. So I'm going to put that stuff away. Keep the vault crystal, and yeah, it's time. We have three shulker boxes here, and because I don't actually have to worry about losing my stuff, I think we're going to go in with all three. We've got 26 golden carrots. Maybe we make one more diamond pickaxe. Oh my. In fact, <laughs> uh, let's make a bed. We have the stuff now. Stop it. Sleep, please. Please. Ah. Burn. <laughs> okay. Now, <laughs> this whole area here is becoming very, very cluttered. <laughs> now we can do our first vault. I've just quickly got myself all of these things in here so that I have that ready to make a shard pouch if I need to. We just need to find the stuff for red dye. I think we're good to go. Let's put in our first proper vault crystal. Uh, I'm a little nervous. Wait, I did say I was making one more of these. Just in case. Whew. We got this. Wait, come on. <laughs> it always, that load gets me every time. Okay, beginner's insurance means chests cannot be trapped and beginner's grace, if killed in the vault, you'll keep your inventory, just receive durability. Of course it's ice. So, our first proper vault, which means that we will get proper loot. This should be fine. This should be worth it. Ooh. That's a nice start too. That's really interesting. Ooh, what is this? Vault suites? <laughs> We're going to be getting the new style of oh, vault diamond. The new style of chests where there's actually a lot less junk items. And I'm a huge fan of that. I'm a huge fan of them making it so that it feels like worth <laughs> worth it to, uh, to loot every, I suppose, item out of the chests. We really will need to set ourselves up with a nice uh, vault tool pretty quickly to make this a little bit faster. But yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it feels overall as we make our way through the vaults. Oh, that was a special one. And are able to basically collect everything. Everything in these chests feels valuable. Food if we need it, stuff for building if we want it. I, I can collect it all. And it also feels like it'll make uh, setting up filters and whatnot on our pouches a lot better. Ooh. That's nice. Oh, you're interesting. And fast. Oh, it does make this feel so much better. Just collecting every item on purpose. Damn, that's good. All right. So you're someone fancy. Come on. Nice. 
What did you drop? Oh, rare plus. Not complaining about that at all. So I wonder if we can, uh, wonder if we can successfully make our way through our first one. I'm going to take these vault suites and see what they're like. I wonder if they eat quickly. We'll use those as food for a little bit before uh, switching over to our golden carrots. But yeah, man, that feels good just to want to collect everything and not pick and choose. Ooh. Nice. What is that? Ornate chain? Velvet? Ornate ingots? These will be interesting to see what they do as well. Okay. Put a few things away. Oh, I did not mean to grab the uh, ender pearl out. I want to keep that. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Anything else? No. We'll move on to the next room if I can find my way out. Nice. So, <laughs> which direction did we come from? Not that way. I think we came from south. Yes. Okay. So, south is our exit. Overgrown wooden chunk. Mossy bone. Makes mossy bone blocks or bone meal. Oh, that's so nice. So, so nice. And already we're, uh, Filling up our inventory. But with a bit of luck, we'll be able to find a few goodies. Can I get to that chest? I cannot. Eh. Fine, I'll leave it. But yes, hopefully we'll find some stuff and be able to make ourselves some pouches nice and quickly. That'll allow us to uh, set up some filters and get all of that running. And with this more unified style of... Uh, oh, that's a polar bear. The <laughs> more unified style of loot inside of these areas feels like we should be able to make things flow really nicely oh another vault diamond very nice and another monolith this is looking pretty good so far the jump in difficulty hasn't been too significant i missed the <laughs> jump in skill though on my end has not <laughs> has not obviously yet happened peel we'll jump up here and keep an eye on these guys. There we go. Ooh. Gilded sconce. I'm loving this. Not good. Ooh, I like these. I think the two levels in strength was actually a fairly decent choice to start off with. It means we're a little bit better off when it comes to... So why does this not work? A little bit better off when it comes to just being able to uh, take on mobs in general. I'm going to put a second one of these down. Actually, I should do it this way. And just place the items directly in there. And I may as well take that too. Oh, okay. Did I go down below? I don't know. Don't think so. Oh man, this really does feel like a good change. Feels like every single thing inside of these chests is something that I want. Which is obviously the ideal situation. 11 size ornate affinity? Okay. Oh my god, hi. What's that? A legendary... 60 size not too great but maybe worth keeping for later on very nice now when dealing with groups like that i feel like that's where i will want a sword over potentially just keeping an axe but for now this axe is doing pretty good does a good amount of damage can basically one shot most of the normal level ones when i crit oh and i'm already full on these snacks Continuing north, I only need one more monolith, which should be pretty easy to do. And I feel like with a, uh, a successful completion on top of doing some decent looting and killing, uh, we'll probably make our way up to level five. Wouldn't surprise me anyway. And if we have a look at pouches, oh, we would need some Laramar. The magic silk and the vault diamonds I already have, but uh, yeah, Laramar, not so much. So unless we manage to find ourselves a uh, a mine room, I don't like our chances. Now. Oh my god, that scared me so much. 
<laughs> I did not know that they were coming. I was fully invested in collecting those coins. Ooh. Not bad. Filling up very quickly. Okay. Oh, nice. Very nice. Getting bulk diamonds. Lots and lots of good stuff. Ooh. And we completed our objective. So from here on out, it's basically just uh, whatever loot we can find is success. It's just extra. And keep an eye out for some red, red dyeable items. <laughs> I may have even passed some already and haven't been paying attention. So from here on out, I will have a look. But I kind of feel like uh, cold biome stuff not necessarily the best for collecting what we're after nice what's this regeneration for 60 seconds i will take that okay we can probably do one or two more rooms uh i feel like south was my way out right north go forth maybe we can find a uh, nice little ore room that'd be nice don't need that. Maybe want that. Refills your mana entirely. Oh, don't need it just yet. These on the other hand, fantastic. Oh, wow. Yeah. The more knowledge essence I can get, the better. Oh, yes. This is amazing. The sooner I can get something like drawers, the better. That would allow me to... Uh, set up some quad drawers for basic things from the vaults and allow me to <laughs> just drop some items out nice and quick when I get out of the vault and I'm done looting. We've gotten a really good amount of vault diamonds to start off here. I feel like almost a full nine. Oh, that is so lucky that it got stuck on there. <laughs> Regenerates your health. I'll take that. All right, at this stage, other than this room, obviously. Oh. Give me something good. Shield. Nice. Uh, other than this room, I think I'm going to run my way back and hopefully maybe find an ore room on the way. We'll see. We just put that down and spam over this. Put that down and do the same. Store anything away that can be. Take out these guys. Grab a few goodies before we go. Oh, amazing. Some more good chests. Oh man, I am I am very quickly running out of space. Put away these things. Grab that. Grab that. And grab that. And then whatever's left, just chuck in here. Three minutes remaining. This is fine. Phew. Okay, <laughs> it's sort of just a uh, get back home sort of uh, stage, I think. Oh, hello. Let's make our way back. South is out. I will go to the left one, but only to uh, see whether or not we find any ore rooms along the way to just do a very, very quick once over and maybe find ourselves some Larimar. But I think if we want to get ourselves a pouch or two, we're going to have to do a little bit more of these normal vaults. And uh, nope. Oh, that could be worth it though. Yeah, massively worth it. Two minutes. Anything else? Anything else? Maybe. Nope. Home we go. Oh, wow. There are so many uh, monoliths. Let's just get back onto our line. And there we go. Easy. An entire minute to spare. We even eat some vault sweets. Ta-da. 11,000 experience. Yep. Amazing. Easily. In fact, we went up two levels and we got our first expertise point. Hey, yo. Okay. Wow. So... A lot of these are going to be really useful for building blocks, and they make some really nice stuff. These make ornate blocks, velvet ornate blocks, ornate chains. These are really, really nice. Things like the wooden chunk will make wooden planks. And I think what I'm going to try and do is uh, 
is use a lot of those for generating my structure out here. Because you get so much of it, the gilded ones make nice gilded blocks. What else do we get? Honestly, quite a bit. Topaz shards makes topaz blocks. These gilded sconces are nice. And we got some good stuff. Let me uh, sort through a little bit of this stuff. Look at that. 10 volt diamonds there. Plus, I think there was some in here too. 13 volt diamonds. Damn. All right. I'm going to sort through all of that. And, uh, and then we might do a couple of uh, normal ones. Or these ones. And I'm just going to go through and gather the resources that I can. Maybe make myself a pouch. And try and start expanding our island to finish off this episode. So, first and foremost, maybe make myself... Ooh, I have some barrels here. I'll use these barrels quickly to uh, give myself some storage. I'll sort through the junk items. And then we'll go through the goodies. Yeah. Alright, let's sleep. So, emptied out that one. This one has a few of the extra goodies. One of these, this one, was ridiculously good. Ornate affinity for 11 is crazy. And that may be worth holding on to for later down the line. 2.3 item rarity, not bad. But we will grab these two things. We've got a couple of goodies in there as well. Gilded chest scroll, mystery eggs. And in here, we got 13 volt diamonds. Oh, I'll take these. 17 knowledge essence, a bunch of carbon and stuff as well. Honestly, a really, really good run. Now, I'm going to quickly just use these. Roll my stuff. I'm really excited for a uh, an epic plus chess piece. Let's see whether anything good comes from it. Witch's chest piece, and we also got a common level uh, shield. What is that like compared to what I have? Ooh, interesting. This one has thorns damage instead of a block chance, plus gives health and knockback resistance. Hmm, very interesting. What about this? Five armor, which is actually a lot worse. We rolled really bad on the implicits. But we got item quantity, mana regen, and rarity. I wonder if that's something we can save for re-rolling the uh, implicits on. I really do need to sort through this stuff and make a bit of space. I can also start grabbing these things as uh, items that I can take and use building. Then go over here. I've got a bunch of these starting to build up. So it goes in here with the random things, wooden style things up top there. Now we have two unspent skill points, which I think I'm going to uh, upgrade my heal to four. That just seems like a nice amount. I could use it on some different stuff, but I'm actually just feeling like the heal would be nice there. And now we have our first expertise. Now I haven't really had a lot of time to spend with these. Let's have a little look. When applying a normal catalyst to a crystal, there's a chance. Yeah, we're not quite at catalyst level yet. Resistance to crystal instability when modifying crystal. That's modifying crystal stuff. We don't have trinkets. We don't have those. Increase the chance of earpiece getting a legendary modifier when being identified. Interesting. It's a small chance, but could be interesting long term. Unbreaking feels like uh, just a really great one overall. Items sold in the vault. Jeweler. Artisan. Okay. It might be worth waiting a minute. Oh. How did I forget? The goodies. We got an ice theme augment. That's nice. Picking, pretty large. Durability, also pretty large. That's not a bad living, though. Got ourselves a couple of pieces of gear. And... Some diamonds from a mystery box. You can go away. Oh! Did we just luck out and get we did? These two were both scrappy plus and uh, we did pretty well. Okay. That has slightly better armor, item quantity and item rarity, as well as knockback resistance. I reckon those are a straight upgrade for now. What about this? I don't know why it's comparing it to... Oh, it's because those are boots. Okay. Less armor, but more health and item quantity and... Item rarity. So with those, we're actually starting to, yeah, item rarity up to 19% and 7% on quantity. That's good. Getting our loot sorted a little bit. Uh, I'm going to put these things away and that away. And the vault -X, Hmm. No, I, I think I like uh, what we have. Now, 
What was I after here? We can do a couple of these. All right, let's let's focus up for just a second before I get into expanding this out here. And we want to make a Vault Enchanter. So, in Vault Hunters, enchantments are a bit different than vanilla Minecraft. Protection and offensive enchantments have been disabled in order to allow higher scaling of defensive and offensive attributes down the line. There are, however, some enchantments that work both on vanilla tools and gear, as well as vault tools and gear. The Vault Enchanter is your go-to table for enchanting any gear or tools. It will always offer the max available enchantment for a cost of some emeralds and XP. Craft one and try to put any enchantable item on it. So, a Vault Enchanter is this. I knew it was worth grabbing the enchanting table. Chromatic Iron Block, we can do that. One, two. I had an enchanting table, I've got that, and I've got some emeralds. Let's... Yeah. Oh boy, running out of space. But with this, I should be able to chuck that there. Wait, I need some emeralds. Put that in there. And we can go efficiency five. Wait, one at a time, right? Efficiency five. Unbreaking. I'm going to go silk touch and mending. Nice. On top of that, we should be able to grab these items. Add unbreaking, respiration, aqua affinity, and just give ourselves a boost. Oh, we can get swift sneak too. Ah, uh, it must be unlocked, I think. Feather Falling's a big one. Unbreaking and Depth Strider for now will be more than enough. Cool. We are kitted out. That should now mean that we've finished this one here. We got a little bit of experience. And now we can move on to Vials. Hmm, am I able to craft one already? There are a couple of different ones that we can do. Recharges every five minutes, recharges per mob kills. This is the one that I want, because five minutes is a lot nicer, but we need a poppy. I need poppies anyway for going through and uh, and making myself, I can put these away, for making myself the uh, the pouch here. So I think it is time to start expanding our island. I'm going to grab a bunch of these crystals and we're just going to uh, montage our way through <laughs> using these items, I think, to build up a little bit more space around here and maybe start preparing ourselves for getting our first mod. I think I'd like to take draws as my first mod. It'll only cost one and uh, that way I can start to organize all of this stuff a little bit easier. In fact, let me have a look at drawers. Yeah, they're pretty easy to make and I, uh, I should be able to build up a decent supply of those and a draw controller may not be too difficult to get because we already have a pog. We just need to find the stuff for this. Getting a little bit ahead of myself though. It's time to go in, spend a little bit of time, maybe uh, expanding out this. We'll make a few more basic chests and whatnot for storage. I'll reorganize my island a little bit and just try and gather myself a bunch of decent materials. I want to build up a good supply of all of these and these can be used, oh yeah, bricks and whatnot. What else? Living rock can be turned into that which can be then turned into a bunch of nice stuff. Oh, stacked living rock, that's pretty. And then we have ornate blocks that can be turned into a bunch of things too. Wow. We're gonna use those blocks, I think, for a lot of our construction out here. So with that, let me get into the vault a few times, spend a few hours here building up some islands and making things nice. We can also go into the raw vaults, gathering things like dirt and whatnot, we're doing some proper building and uh, we'll see what we end up with to end this episode. So enjoy a little bit of a montage and I'll see you on the other side. Yeah.
one short. Not just one block. One of these rocks short. Ah. But the success. Look at these villagers, this netherite, these skulk sensors. Not only that, I even got the Enigma uh, chest scroll so I can make one. And these Enigma chests have absolutely thrown us. Look at this, budding crystals. So I can actually move that or put a different one down. What else? There was something. Where did I put it? There, look, a pickering. <laughs> I got a pick array. Look at the recipe for that. It's an echo bog. Oh my god. So we had a lot of success. I got a nether star. I got a lot of these things. I didn't happen to get any elytra or a pouch. But I mean, come on. We have one, two, three. Uh, what else? Four, five? Sure, I have a sixth somewhere, but maybe not. I also got some stuff like this and this. Oh yeah, there, <laughs> in here, look at this. Oh my goodness. Another one of those, three more netherites, a budding amethyst. Oh my God. We can get infinite amethyst building up in our base. That's insane. I got so many good things. We're sitting at seven pieces of netherite, my goodness. And all of that is for running those raw vaults in an attempt to just get enough of this stuff. <laughs> Trying to uh, build up my supply of resources to build with. And obviously I have a little bit of work to do. I managed to grab some of the two tall flowers so that we can grow those. All in all, a very successful little run. And I even made a shard pouch and look, we have 2,000. And the reason why I made that shard pouch before getting it from the quest is because, can you imagine... By the time I get to here, can you imagine how many of those shards would have been filling up space all around here? Yeah, nether star, biting amethyst, biting crystal, villages, netherite, skulk sensors. Oh my. So, the reality is, we have a little bit of a platform now. Almost finished. Actually, you know what? You know what? <laughs> this is... I'll be... Just... We may as well. It's, it's one piece. I should be able to get it from almost my first chest. <sighs> Let's just do this. Run through here. And ah, there we go. Look at that. Anything worthwhile around here? I'm only going to check this first room and then we'll, uh, we'll move on. Maybe I'll get another Enigma chest. Oh, chest scroll. Might as well. And yeah, we do love these uh, flesh chests here. They always have good stuff in them. Yeah. I was kind of joking. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, at least we got one uh, in a live bit of footage, not me just filming a little montage. Okay. We have had some crazy luck. This is stupid. All in my first room. Oh boy. Is that OP? Are they, are they too common? Yeah, am I just locking out at like getting them from uh, doing a nice bit of uh, running through like a consistent amount? Because I have now run 13 total vaults. Well, I assume that includes this one. Oh, so many mystery eggs. Okay. Well, we may as well head back home. <laughs> but yeah, I went in to just grab a little bit more of this sandy rock and come out with three extra villages and uh, some more netherite. Of course. Of course I do. There we go. So, with that, I can actually do this. Uh, oh man, I got stuff everywhere. Ah. And to finish this off, let's just make a uh, an in-between stage of storage. I think in the next episode, we're going to try and run some normal vaults and get ourselves the drawers mod. And then we can properly branch off the side of this area and make ourselves a storage room. But for now, let me grab these barrels. I'll set myself up with some storage, move all of this across, and then maybe we can roll these goodies. To finish up, oh boy, we had a lot of success there. That's great. Let's just get this done. And just like that, once this tree has uh, finished doing its thing, we've kind of got ourselves a bit of a better setup back here. 
Now, this one, I was keeping a little bit away from the edge because it does have valuables in it. But we will, uh, we will aim in the next episode to try and get ourselves draws. And even though I took a few minutes just now to sort all of this, we will probably expand out behind that area and, uh, and make ourselves a proper storage, well, quote unquote, room. It's not necessarily going to be enclosed, but it will be a storage area. So I've got my pog. Now that we have another pair of budding crystals, which is probably in with the villager stuff. I didn't realize I had nine villagers that I've managed to get, but we have these bone crystals, so we can uh, we can align this or put it in a different spot and remove this one if we so desire. But all in all, I'm I'm getting a vibe. I'm getting a feel for what I'm aiming for and the expansion that I want to make around this area. I'm excited. Come on, disappear. Make it look nice. So I have things like my gear, some ores, we've got vanilla valuables, we've got books and enchanting and stuff along those lines, all of my jewels, mostly basic sorting done uh, to finish things off. Stuff like mob drops, food related items, honey related items, greenery, etc. And let's just see what we got to finish things off. A vault idol is also really great. I'm interested to see what we get. Okay, so, Tenos Affinity, 20 mana, plus mana regen, wither avoidance, and healing efficiency. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Decent amount of durability. Honestly, not bad. The mana roll was huge, and the Tenos Affinity is great. On this, we got some increased area of effect and ability power, plus 8 ability power. Okay, not bad. And... There we go with these. More item quantity, but less rarity. But we got a bit of extra health and mana regen. It's not bad. Five armor. Definitely worth keeping, just in case. But all in all, that. Come on. Disappear. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm not looking away until you go. The edit is going to show how the sun's moving. Come on. I've committed too much now. I could go get my pickerang and do this. Come on. This is fine. Come on. <laughs> what is happening? Oh. That's good. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. It was worth it. <laughs> okay. So with that, we now have a nice cleaned up area. If we look at our map, we can see it's nice and circular. And this gives me plenty of room to expand and grow a base around here. Very excited. Everything is nice and in line. We may eventually move things around ever so slightly once we decide to remove that. And maybe we can centralize this portal. But I don't mind it being on one side, kind of giving us... Oh, well, now I need to uh, do this. <laughs> giving us an indication of that being center and kind of having our way directed towards this a little bit. We're facing north towards our building and our storage and bits and pieces. I like it. So with that, uh, this episode's gone for a decent amount of time, but we got a fair bit done. Other than this deep slate, everything that I've used around here, well, okay, other than the deep slate and the tough bricks, but a lot of this has been made using the new blocks that have uh, been added with all of that loot. And I really like it. I'm excited to uh, use more of it, especially uh, where did I put it? Over here. The velvet stuff and the ornate ingots. But I would really like to set myself up with some pouches and stuff to auto pick that up and get to the point where I can run through destroying chests and whatnot before uh, I think too seriously about trying to build with them. Because this did take a lot of effort to just gather the materials. Was it worth it? Absolutely. <laughs> I got uh, so many good things. Two of those villagers just found inside a village uh, room and other ones from those special chests. What are they called? Enigma. The Enigma chests have done us well. So I'm looking forward to the next episode and I'm looking forward to working towards our first mod. You guys will have to let me know what you think about the uh, expertise points. I might have a bit of a look. I'm thinking... <sighs> I'm thinking I might take a fortune level and uh, that way we have a little bit of extra fortune as we're going through some proper vaults and getting ourselves, hopefully, some vault ores. But with that being said, 
that's for next episode, and I'm going to leave this one here. I would like to say thank you very much for watching, and thank you to my Patreon supporters for your continued support. Not quite personal enough. There we go. There's my face. And I hope you all enjoyed uh, this episode. I'm really enjoying it. It, uh, it feels good. It feels like they're, they're making some fantastic choices as far as the looting goes, and uh, a few of these simple changes like making things a little bit more accessible it's feeling good and i'm enjoying myself so i hope you guys are too so with all that being said until the next episode i hope you all take care of yourselves and i'll see you then Bye bye everyone uh whoop